Short sale information, strategic default. Hey, looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, today, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of strategic default. What is exactly a strategic default, you ask? Well, basically, just strategic default is when a homeowner truly can't afford to make the payment, but because the property, be it their principal residence or an investment property, is either so far upside down that it'll be 10 years or more if ever it's, it's worth uh, what you owe, or it's such a large negative monthly cash flow, or both, that it just no longer makes a good financial sense to keep the property any longer. And the property owner either short sales it or lets it get foreclosed on. That's a strategic default. Now, a recent survey from Zillow, the online housing site, stated that 71% of economists and 59% of homeowners who completed their survey said they would never consider a strategic default even if their property was 40% or more upside down, with 37% of the homeowners citing the moral issues for their decision. Now, that's an interesting observation, but what comes to mind for me is how many of those surveys, of those that were surveyed, really were 40% or more upside down? I ask, because it's really easy to be an armchair quarterback and say what you would or wouldn't do if you're not in that situation. If you are 40% upside down in your mortgage based on the average appreciation, it'll be 22 or more years for that property to get back to what you owe. If it's an investment property and you have negative cash flow on the property after your tax incentives, is that an investment or is that a hobby? Now remember, a hobby is something you enjoy doing and don't mind paying for. An investment should bring you a positive return on your money at some point. So I kind of question that survey just a little bit. To strategically default is purely a personal decision that only you can make. In these uncertain times with favorable tax laws, it only makes sense to do what is right for you and your family, period. Who cares what anybody else thinks or says? The only thing that matters right now is right, what is right for you and your family. If you choose to keep it, keep it. If you choose to get rid of that underperforming asset, absolutely. Hey, the bank's going to recover. Heck, they already have. Now. If you have an underperforming asset and you're not sure where to turn, give me a call and we can discuss your options. At least when we're all done, you'll have the facts you need to make a good business decision on what's right for you and your family. Is a short sale right for you? Give me a call. Let's talk about it. To find out when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanlaw.info. The report is free. Give me a call if you have any questions. I'd love to talk to you. And you know, if you call me today, you'll sleep better tonight. We'll see if we can't help. And thanks for joining us today.